Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the types of errors that can be encountered during execution of a program. So in different programming languages. So if you take any programming language, we can have the three categories of errors that is a syntax error, a runtime error or the logical error. So we'll see one by one with this one. So syntax error. So coming to the syntax error, so these are the errors that commonly uh, occur when you violate the rules while writing the program. So here our uh, compiler or the interpreter will give some rules to be followed while writing the instructions. So if you violate those rules, automatically these errors will be occurred. And these errors will be commonly caught by the language translator itself. So here the language translators are nothing but our compiler and interpreter. And the programs will not be compiled unless it becomes an error -free. So first it should be error free, then only the programs will be compiled and the program will not be get executed until you until it becomes the error free. And these are also called as the compilation errors because during the compile time, so we are getting these errors. So now I will, I will show you the type of errors. So let us take an example of Python programming. So if you use the thing, see, uh, I just want to give the string to any other variable right i want to initialize a string to variable so i will give some 10 uh, and welcome right 10 welcome so this is the alpha numeric right this is a alpha numeric so if it is an alpha numeric uh, the string should be enclosed in between the double quotations so here i am failing to give the double quotations and i'm executing so this type of error will get this syntax error and let us take with the second example that is uh, if if i forget to close the double quotation right so actually the string should be enclosed in double quotations i have failed i just forgot to uh, close the double quotations so still we'll get the syntax error because the string should be enclosed in double quotations and coming to the blocks and if you are writing any block of statement that should be represented in a uh, indentation Right. So for i in range of 10, so I'm just want to print the i value, right? And I fail to give the indentation here. I fail to give the indentation. Again, we'll get the syntax error because the block should be represented with a column. The block should be represented with a column. So all these type of errors, that means which we are violating the rules, those errors we call them as a syntax errors, and these are called as a compilation errors also. Right? And basically these errors will be caught by the language translators. And coming to the second type of errors, that is a runtime errors. Runtime. So here the name itself indicates, so these are the errors that occur during the execution of a program. During execution of a program. So uh, actually uh, the errors which we have discussed in the previous session, so like uh, floating uh, division by error, uh, division by zero, indentation, uh, indentation error, unbound local error, import error. So all these are errors are nothing but a runtime error. So these errors will be occurred during the execution. Okay. So previously there is no execution. Before the execution itself, we'll get the syntax errors. But during the execution, the errors occur called as runtime errors. Okay. And these are also called as exceptions. These are also called as exceptions. So some programming languages will be having the exception handling mechanism. So these exception handling mechanisms will be handled these type of these runtime errors. Right? So uh, these runtime errors uh, in the Python programming I have explained in the previous session. So I will share the uh, link of these particular types of errors in the description section. So you can just follow that one. So I will give you an example. So if you want to import the module Keras in, in Python, Okay, so if you execute, we'll get a module not found because we have to install the module before using them. So this is called the exception. Okay, this is called an exception. Or simply, if you are trying to divide any number with a zero, that's also an exception, zero division error. So, um, so these type of errors, we call it as a runtime errors. So here also, we'll get the, the program will be terminated. So program will not get executed. Okay. And coming to the third category, that is a logical error. So very uh, difficult uh, to find out these type of errors. So these errors 
that uh, that uh, cause the program to operate incorrectly and produces the undesired outputs so here the program will not be stopped okay will not be terminated so the program will be executed uh, but will get an improper results and it occurs the occurrence of these errors mainly depends upon the logical thinking of the development that means mainly it will be depends upon the algorithm so every statement in the program has to be checked by the programmer in order to rectify these errors so it is very hard to find the logical errors and it doesn't causes the program to stop the execution but it gives the wrong output so if if we get if the program gets terminated and if we got uh, these exceptions or all these things we can know about that particular error but here coming to the logical error the program will not be stopped uh, its execution but it gives a different output okay see i will show you an example so our program statement is to print uh, the squares of a number so i will take the list and i will take the list comprehension and see so this is the exponential operator so i will go with the list comprehension so x in a range of uh, 10 so let us take this one and i just want to display all these things with the help of index values okay with the help of index values so for i in range of uh, so, uh, uh, range of uh, length of l and simply you can go the print l L of i, right? Give the end end uh, parameter. So, see if you execute, we'll get all the values in the same line. So we are accessing the elements with the help of index values. So if you fail to use this exponential operator and if you are giving some cap symbol, automatically this is nothing but an XOR operation, right? This is nothing but an XOR operation. So in such case, the program will be executed, but you will get the different output. You will get the different output, right? So x xor2. So all the results will be of x xor2. So in such cases, we can't find the error. Uh, so this is at only three lines of code, and it is very easy to find out this thing. But if you are going with the complex problems, it is somewhat difficult to find the logical errors. So unless the every statement of the program has to be checked so you have to check every program you have to trace the program every instruction so then only you can find the logical error so the most difficult task is to finding the logical error because it is completely depending on the algorithm itself so for example uh, if if everything is if everything is uh, good right and uh, if you fail to print this one instead of uh, giving the subscript and if you print this one again see we are getting the result but this is not a correct result because the problem statement for this one is uh, print squares of numbers right so our problem statement is to print the squares of numbers but we are getting the different output so unless you trace from the starting line you can't find the error so if you go if you start tracing each and every line then you can find out okay here we are supposed to pass i as an index value so here instead of passing the i as index value we are just passing the i value so that's why we are getting the improper result so if you give here then automatically we'll get the perfect result Right. So these type of errors we call it as a logical errors and these errors are difficult to find and these are the common errors we will face while doing the programs that is a syntax error, a runtime error and the logical error and the runtime errors usually we call it as an exception so these errors are uh, occurred during the execution of a program and this can be handled by using the exception handling mechanism. So some sort of programming languages will be sub, uh, supports the exception handling mechanism. So in such programming languages, we can uh, use the exception handling mechanism to handle these runtime errors. But syntax errors are nothing but a compilation errors. So this will be caught by the uh, language translators itself and we need to uh, rectify those errors. So then only the compilation will be done and then the execution will be done. Right. So hope you understood these uh, differences between the syntax error, runtime error and the logical error. 
right if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much